So apparently our connection at the homestead is not strong enough to go live. So I just got to do this old school. Welcome to our home. I'm focusing in on my favorite area this season and maybe like even in a few years. We've got a living Christmas tree that we're going to plant. It's a Douglas fir in the spring. And we have a citronella plant that has grown into a tree. And they're both decorated. I love Christmas. I love Christmas because I do think of it as a spirit. And I love to bring the outside in. And I love winter and how it's a sleep time and cleansing time for the earth. And I like stories of old, some true, some myth, all woven together over time to create this Christmas spirit that is alive. It's alive in our hearts. It's alive in our thoughts. It's alive in our actions. To me, it doesn't have anything to do with religion at all. But mythology, traditions, love and light. I love feeling like for a little over one month a year, I could live in a little cottage at the edge of the North Pole. And that makes my heart full of Christmas spirit. And we live, we live far away from folks and we're so busy trying to do a million things and so is everybody else. And we don't get to see people as much as we'd like. So we thought it would be nice to bring you in. See your house a little. Famous palm trees in the snow. We are very grateful this year for the abundance that we do have in our lives. Very good people, and neighbors and family, animals, all the food that we grow and obtain. There's some potatoes ready for the oven. And we like to wish that abundance onto other people. And we're so grateful for our freedom able to be free, to love each other, to be ourselves, to say what's in our hearts. And to feel the freedom that we very much feel up here on the mountain. And we wish that freedom everyone as well. Mitch is cleaning up a basement right now, so I don't think he would want to join in the way that we had prepared yesterday, or we, we tried when we thought we were going live. But he did want to say a few words about how challenging Christmas can be. 
especially when you've lost loved ones. And he wanted to send out blessings of love and light to everybody. With that, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for saying hello. We love you. Merry Christmas.